Alright, so let's talk about who breaks their bones more often and why. Do carnivores break their bones more often? The average person? Or does a vegan break their bones more often? Because this is something that I think is very important to know. Because if there's any actual difference, then those that, that fall into the higher risk category should be aware of this so they can make the appropriate decisions. So they can better care for themselves. So anyway, let's get into this Newsweek article. And here we go. The title is, Vegans are more likely to break bones than meat eaters studies find. So why is this? Vegans are a higher risk of breaking their bones than meat and fish eaters according to new research conducted over almost 20 years. A study of around 65,000 people across the UK, of which nearly 2,000 were vegans, found those not eating meat or fish were 43% more likely to suffer any type of broken bone. Participants in the Epic Oxford study were followed for 18 years on average. Data showed 3,941 fractures in total during this time, with the biggest difference was found in hip fractures, where the risk in vegans was 2.3 times higher in people than those who ate meat, which the study was published in BMC Medicine. And one of the things that BMC Medicine stated is that non-meat eaters, especially vegans, had higher risks of either total or some site-specific fractures, particularly hip fractures. So what does that mean? The studies are starting to show that vegans are fracturing their bones either partially or completely significantly higher than meat eaters. So think about going into that diet. I don't want you to hurt yourself, and that's one of the reasons I'm talking about this right now. So, lead author Tammy Trang, a nutritional epidemiologist for the Nuffield Department of Population of Health, said, We found that vegans had a higher risk of total fractures, which resulted in close to 20 more cases per thousand people over a 10-year period compared to people who ate meat. So, that person is actually seeing this over a 10-year period. In addition to higher risk of hip fractures in vegans, vegetarians, pescatarians, and meat eaters, vegans also had a higher risk of leg fractures Breaks at other sites, including the arm, wrist, ribs, and clavicle, the data showed. The author said that the study's findings did not account for poor bone health or accidents. These risk differences were likely partly due to their lower BMI, uh, possibly lower intakes of calcium and protein, uh, she said. So what does that mean? That means that the quality of your calcium and your protein is huge, and we know that. When you're eating a vegan diet, the, the plant-based proteins are not absorbed at, a, at the same rate as when you're eating meat. So it takes more calories to absorb the same amount of protein when you're looking at protein uh, amounts being the same in plant-based or animal-based proteins. So just that creates a deficiency because, you know, you're not going to be eating too much because you're going to be like farting and have bloating and all this other stuff. So then it makes it really hard to get the proper protein and calcium that your body needs when you're going totally vegan. So it makes sense that with those things being deficient, why there would be more fractures. Now, Dr. Tong said, well-balanced and predominantly plant-based diets can result in improved nutrient levels have been linked to lower risk of diseases, including heart disease and diabetes. Well, we've seen other research that currently goes against all this, so sometimes just hearing one person's opinion, whether it's Dr. Tong or even me, is anecdotal evidence. So you need to look at um, meta-studies and other things, but the meta-studies definitely do not show that. Anyway, so let's continue moving on. The Vegan Society, founded in Britain in 1944, which turned, coined the term vegan, said there were 600,000 vegans in the UK uh, in 2019, equivalent to 1.2% of the population. The society has reported a rise in people choosing to avoid meat and other products during the COVID pandemic. They say it could be to cost, convenience, or increased concern for their overall health, environment, and or animals. So there's a few um, issues with that. Um, one of the things, and I've seen in a whole bunch of different sources, being vegan does not actually reduce the amount of animals being killed because you have to, it actually increases it because one cow, the same amount of calories you get in a plant area, you have to kill all the vermin, so all the mice, all the rats, all the golfers, uh, all the rabbits, anything that competes for that plant-based food. So you have to kill it. So that's a numerous amount of lives. And then um, one thing I'm going to actually do is in a future commentary video, I've seen this, where they actually show that when plants break down and they have methane, and when cows eat the plants and they fart, it, from the dead plants to the cow farts, it's the same amount of methane release, so it's not necessarily for the environment. And then increased concern for their own health. If you're breaking more bones from a vegan diet, 
why do you want to have better health from something that results in bad issues like that? So there's a lot to think of. Now, if you're really serious about not breaking your bones, you should really consider the studies like this that really talk about you know, having things that help prevent breaking your bones, like intake, proper protein intake, and calcium intake for those bones, and you get it best from animal-based products. So if you're really not looking to break down your bones, then you need to do things that are going to support it. So always consider animal-based when looking at things like you're just trying to be stronger and not breaking your bones for general health. And if you want to learn more about general health, watch this video right here. And if not, I got a good one for you right over here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.